Okay, so it was one of the worst kept secrets the entire past few days, pretty much, that Zach Hyman was eventually going to sign with the Edmonton Oilers. It is official. From 14 minutes ago, this is from the Edmonton Oilers website themselves. The Oilers have signed Hyman to a seven-year contract with an AAV of $5.5 million. He's 29 years old. The contract takes him until he will be 36. Oh boy, that's big. It's really big, and I think everybody kind of realizes that it was going to be this big because we had the rumors coming out, like, a few days ago. Like, even before the entire free agent madness started up, we had ourselves what was the entire thing. Oh, they're trying to trade him to get the full eight years and all that, but Zach Hyman eventually just goes over on a regular seven-year deal, not the eight-year term deal that he would have been able to get had the Oilers acquired his rights from Toronto. But 5.5 until 2028, oh man. The way this guy plays, the way he produces points, the, the just the physicality and the style, I'm not sure how well that projects over the next seven years. And maybe this 5.5 AAV will be fantastic for the first two or three years. But by the time this guy's like 34, 35, 36, what's that contract going to be like, man? Zach Hyman at his prime got himself 41 points in 71 games played in 2018-19. His highest points per game season, though, 2019-20, 37 points in 51 games, 20 goals. He's a 20-goal guy. He gets points out there. He's able to play well with good players, free up space along the boards, free up pucks along the boards, and find guys out in front, which is why he is kind of valued in this way, where Ken Holland's going out there saying, yeah, this is the kind of guy that we want to go out there. He's physical, he plays well in corners, and he plays very, very nicely alongside of great players. So, who knows if they're going to try this out with McDavid. Maybe the McDavid-Hyman experiment. Imagine you're being Hyman, man. Playing with Austin Matthews to playing with Connor McDavid in the span of a year, that sounds pretty good to me. And it honestly kind of gets a even more funny when you talk about the Oilers and just who is on this team. Barry, CeCe, Hyman. It's just the old Leafs guys. Edmonton, man. Ken Holland saw the Leafs and he's like, yeah, I like these guys. Let's go ahead and get all of these guys for our roster. So in what was, as I said, the most lousily kept secret in the hockey world, Zach Hyman is now a Toronto, or excuse me, an Edmonton Oiler. On a big contract, man. 5.5. Man, I still can't wrap my head around that. Seven years, too. That's going to be quite big. This entire write-up on here on the website goes over how, oh, he's a fifth-round pick by the Panthers in 2010, Hobie Baker Award finalist, yada, 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 all this stuff. He also has a children's book, which is really good to see. But I'm kind of interested in seeing how well he's going to mesh with the Ryan or the lineup over there in Edmonton. See how this guy plays and whether or not they deploy him in a similar role that he had with the Toronto Maple Leafs in Edmonton. Is he going to play with Dreisaitl? Is he going to play with McDavid? Is he going to play on, I don't know, his own line? Maybe give him independent minutes with whoever else you want to go out there and mentor into the kind of guy that Hyman is. I'm not really too sure, but we'll see sooner or later what happens and... I mean, I'm kind of really stoked to see how exactly this contract looks in the next three years, because from my opinion, I don't really know if it's going to look all too great. Either or, though, talk to me in the comments what you think. Hyman is officially an Edmonton Oiler. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Ash Rolls 9. And, bye.